They wanted the party bus sites. They wanted my chat bots. All I was doing was teaching and telling them where they can go to get the free trial. But we're only going to go up to around we're only going to go up to around like thirteen thousand dollars right here. OK, we're not going to count the, the 14. This is when I realized, yo, I didn't need clients. If you're trying to start your own software company or SaaS company, guys, look at the end goal that the customer, the website visitor or the client is looking for. All right. In this case, the end goal was that they wanted to. It needs to be something with an end goal that's transformational to the business owner or the client or the customer or something like that. All right. Yo, what I want you all to do is go back here. I actually do what I teach for an entire two months. I was teaching my entire business model without asking for a damn dime. They came hunting for me. Yo, you don't have any course. You don't have any way that you can like do this with us and all of this extra stuff. I didn't even have a course. I literally came on here and I just showed everything. All right. So look at the ones that say four years ago, they requested it for me. And that's how I came up with the godfather of drop service and course. That's how that happened. But the reason why I'm showing y'all this today is because all of the ones or at least the majority of the ones from four years ago, the ones that say four years ago, that's when I was just literally giving away the godfather of drop servicing. I had a beginner's course. All right. The reason why is in relation to this copy and paste SaaS business situation, because Builder Raw, right here, this is a software. All right. This is a software program. They had a free trial. I was trying to give everything away for free. People just kept asking me, could they buy stuff from me? All right. They had a, a free trial, right? And my videos was free. So people was asking for the websites. They wanted the party bus sites. They wanted my chat bots. All I was doing was teaching and telling them where they can go to get the free trial and where they can go to get the websites. So my whole point in this is the marketing or the business model, I guess you would consider that if you're trying to do it intentionally now, you will consider that as bait, okay? If you're trying to start your own software company or a SaaS company, guys, look at the end goal that the customer, the website visitor, or the client is looking for. All right. In this case, the end goal was that they wanted to, uh, a business model that can make them money, a lot of money, while everybody else was teaching them to drop service Fiverr gigs and cheap $15 Upwork uh, logos and stuff. I was teaching people to drop service uh, party bus business private jet uh, rental charters and stuff like that, yacht rentals and stuff. Go back, right? Um, none of this is new, okay? Um, so the only barrier between that and them was the training. So they were willing to go through, build a raw, and, and all of this extra stuff in order to get the training. Even though I was giving it away for free on the channel, they was like, yo, I get that you're doing that, but how do I get the sites? It wasn't me trying to put up a shield between them. If you've been in the course any amount of time, you know that Builderall has the feature where I can literally transfer the site to you. They could go and build their own site. And I told them that. But they was like, yo, just transfer it to me. They can get the chat bot them on their own selves. I did videos showing how I set up the chat bot on YouTube. So for any of y'all who think I just oh, this dude just money hungry and all that. Listen, check this out, man. This world is ruled by money. Everybody wants income streams. I'm not a fool, but I don't have to do this part right here. So what, what I'm saying is if you build, let's say that you want to intentionally build a SaaS. Like I wasn't intentionally doing this or I would have continued doing it. You notice that the sales stopped off when I stopped talking about the Godfather of drop servicing. Why would anybody do that if they only want to make money? This would have been in the hundreds of thousands by now of recurring income. So once I stopped talking about the Godfather of drop servicing, I stopped talking about builder all and all of that stuff until it came back up again with this copy and paste rental situation. See, so if you want to build your own SaaS, you need to have a situation where you have something extremely desirable that you, you can pretty much use as bait if you want to call it that. It can be a program. It could be a book. It needs to be something with an end goal that's transformational to the business owner or the client or the customer or something like that. Yo, they want to get they want better SEO on their site. I'll just give you an, a, an example. Okay, they're trying to figure out how to increase the dwell time on their web, website because when you increase the dwell, the dwell time on your website, that helps you get better rankings. If you don't know what dwell time is, that's the amount of time or minutes that a website visitor stays on the site before they click off. So there are certain softwares called heat maps. I don't know if they still got one in here. Let's see. 
Um, they don't have it no more in here. They used to have it in here. Let's go in legacy. Um, this will show you all the spots on your website where people click at a lot. And all you have to do is optimize the website page to make more page, uh, make more sections like that on the site and you will increase the dwell time. If you see that a person spends the most time watching the videos on your website, what should you do? You should add more videos on your freaking site. Common sense, right? So if, if they're trying to keep website uh, visitors on there longer, and I know that, then if I have a software like this heat map, it's very simple to say, hey, I can help you increase your dwell time. I'm going to give you the exact steps that I took to increase my dwell time. Here are some people that's actually achieved that as well, and their sales went up this amount of time. All we did is we used this click map to see the, the most highlighted spots on our website, and we put more spots on there like that. But we use this tool right here. They have a free trial. Boom. But if your your goal is to sell this and you're making it obvious that your goal is to sell this, you're going to have a very difficult time trying to sell your SaaS. Your SaaS needs to help them meet an end goal. If I'm a realtor and I'm trying to sell more houses and your 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 software is not going to assist me with that and is and is it is pretty much obvious that all you're trying to do is get me to like download your software and there's not going to really be no benefit to it. Hey, realtors, just sign up here. You can put your listings on here. Well, if I don't have proof that listing on your site actually results in me to getting more like home sales, then I don't want to list on there. But if it says if your if your site or your software can actually uh, target specific zip codes that I want to work in and automatically send out direct mail to them or some stuff like that, dog. Hell yeah, I'll download your software because it helps me get to the end goal of selling more houses, right? So that is how, like literally how you can build a SaaS company, right? You give away as much value as you possibly can. What was this? Okay, you give away as much value as you possibly can. I was giving away, I was going live every single day documenting what I was doing giving away one asking nobody for nothing they saw it they saw me doing it right and and i gave them everything for free right and then they started seeking out stuff to buy okay and that's what built this over here same thing happened with with the cpa offers and stuff that i used to promote i just gave away a lot of free stuff and they was like what else you got so if you can be a value of, of people and helping them get to their end goal then it will be like literally simple to like increase the sales of any software or whatever SaaS business you're trying to like promote. That's for those of you uh, who are in ATP. Those of you who are in um, agency to partner guys, I want you to look at it like this because you're not sitting here trying to get clients. Those of you who are struggling or are sitting here still stuck in an agency model. Stop holding yourself back. Quit approaching them like you need them. You don't need a business owner to pay you anything up front. You don't need them to pay you anything monthly. You'll make way more once you plug in your 10 monetizations, some of those monetizations that you have to plug in in order to give them their end goal results are softwares. For example, 